off in the Pimlico Special. Looked like a great beginning. Lewis Sai is wasting no time in sending Kingsbarn to the lead. With Harlow Cap there on the inside, now Harlow Cap takes a narrow lead as they pass us. Kingsbarn, well settled there on the outside in second early, and then Pyrenees up close third on the inside. World Ship travels in fourth, double crown fifth, red route one, getting a bit ranked there into the first turn. In between horses and trailing the field, as is his want. A late running, a be better. Only six lengths front to back, so the pace is slow to develop. With seven furlongs left to go, Paco Lopez and Harlow Cap. They're in charge of the pace at a 24-4, opening quarter mile. Big favorite Kings Barn close there in second. On the outside, Rural Ship is in the clear in third, and Pyrenees down inside in fourth, just two and a half lengths from the front. Be better's a handful. In the back of the pack in red route run two, still trying to settle down and trailing the field is double crown. Only five lengths covers them. Harlow Cap leading the way through a 50 and one-fifth half-mile fraction has a neck lead from King's Barn as they head on to the far turn run with four and a half furlongs left to go. Royal Ship continues parked outside in third. Pyrenees is in fourth. Be better fifth. Red Route one and Double Crown is in the back of the pack. So it's been Harlow Cap at King's Barn in close attendance the entire way. Royal Ship is running a big one on the outside from third. Pyrenees and here's Be Better. Just four from the front as they round the far turn. Back to Red Route one and trailing the field is Double Crown. Six furlongs a minute 15 and two for seconds. They race toward the top of the stretch with a quarter to go at Pimlico. It's Harlow Cap, a tenacious customer down to the inside. Kings Barn on the outside is asked the question. Kings Barn's on the outside. Down to the inside, Harlow Cap. They're head-to-head -head for the lead. Pyrenees is trying to close the gap toward the center of the track, but it's Kings Barn who's digging down. Harlow Cap down to the inside, still there. And Pyrenees on the outside. Pyrenees coming at Kings Barn's. Kings Barn, here's Pyrenees. Pyrenees searching at Kings Barn. A thriller in the Pimlico special. And Pyrenees and Brian Hernandez Jr. get up to win from Kings Barnes in second and And they're off in the Ben Ally Stakes. There's Kings Barnes from between horses and Laughing Boy has early speed as well. Laughing Boy comes forward for the lead from Kings Barnes and then Surly Furious toward the inside. War Campaign moves up on the far outside, but it is Laughing Boy the leader. Headed into the first turn, Laughing Boy clears the inside traffic, angles down toward the rail with the lead a length. War Campaign goes second around the outside of Surly Furious third. Kings Barnes is fourth up on the outside. Smile Happy right toward the center of the pack against the rail in fifth around the first turn. Archie the Giza, six on his outside, then a gap of two and a half more lengths. Time for Trouble is in seventh. Happy American is eighth. And Dynamic One, last of the nine. 24.07 seconds for the opening quarter. Laughing Boy is the leader. Laughing Boy leads it three and a half lengths to the good. Up the back stretch. War Campaign, second a length. Kings Barnes, third ahead to the outside. Surly Furious, fourth back toward the inside. Archie the Giza toward the center of the track is in fifth. Smile Happy has come off the rail between horses in sixth. Still five lengths from the lead as they go to the far turn. Happy American to the far outside, then time for trouble between horses. Dynamic one against the rail at the back. 48.57 seconds for the first half mile. Laughing Boy, the leader, and here's War Campaign. War Campaign draws within a half length of the lead. Now matching strides. Kings Barnes moves up behind him on the outside. War Campaign is the leader now. Kings Barnes goes to the second position around the far turn. Archie the Giza is next on the outside. There's a quarter mile to go. Surly Furious back toward the inside side and smile happy is last off the far turn kings barnes has a narrow lead war campaign is there to his inside archie the geese third into the final furlong surly furious is fourth kings barnes in front final furlong of the ben ally stakes kings barnes and luis saez aboard kings barnes to win the ben ally war campaign will be second archie the geese across the line in third And they're off. Kings Barnes was away just okay. Moving to the early advantage, Vivir con Alegria, fleet footed off the mark and two on top. Dangerous Ride comes away in second from Howling Time, who's in early third. Kings Barnes is in between horses and positive reviews in the clear on the outside. Moving out the rail, it's implementation working three ahead of Baby Yoda. The trailer is the late running Lightning Tones. 
To the half mile point they go. Julian Leparu and Vivir Cornalegria have the lead by a length and a half. Dangerous Ride is their second from the outside. Howling Times a joint third. Implementation improving on his inside. Positive review is very wide on the course with the big favorite Kings Barnes just behind him. And it's a gap of three more to Baby Yoda and Lightning Tones is last. Vivir Conalegria trying to stretch him out here at the three furlong point. He leads by two and a half. Toward the inside implementation is underway for Gaffleone second. Three wide and howling time in between horses. Dangerous ride. Now Kings Barn starts to warm to the task, but Saez needs to feed him some racetrack, and he's loose now through a 44 and two half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive, and here comes the favorite Kings Barnes. He's three off the lead of Vivir Conalegria with an eighth of a mile to go. Vivir Conalegria is still in front, but he's shortening up. Here's Kings Barnes in implementation trying to get to him. Kings Barnes on the outside. Vivir Conalegria digging in, coming to the wire. Kings Barnes getting up. Kings Barnes wins by a half a And they're off. Jackson Ben half step away slowly. Gold Digger's boy and Uncle Mo break together, and Jersey Town gets that spot at the rail. That stutter step start puts Jackson Ben at the back of the pack. And here's the two year old champion on the lead. It's Uncle Mo down the Belmont backstretch, clear by two. Jersey Town runs along in second. Gold Digger's boy is third. Jackson Ben has six legs to make up. The pace is tepid. 23-2 and two was the opening quarter mile for Uncle Moe's on an uncontested lead here with five furlongs remaining. Jersey Town continues on in second. Gold Digger's boy being nudged along while third. Jackson Ben still relatively unhurried as they hit the far turn, still six lengths behind. Uncle Moe just rolling along. After a half mile in 46 and three, that was a sharp middle quarter here for Uncle Mo, and he did it quite easily, and he's still doing it easily. Jersey Town continues on in second, and now Jackson Bend. Jackson Bend is coming with a big run. Oh, he's coming with a big run down inside. Is there room for him on the inside of Uncle Mo? And they hit the quarter pole together. Uncle Mo tested by Jackson Bend off the turn after three quarters and nine and one. Uncle Mo in front. Jackson Bend comes at him from the outside now. But it's Uncle Mo who's got something left. Now he's clear by three. Now he's clear by four as they come down to the finish. He repelled Jackson Bend. Uncle Mo, he's back. Jackson Bend was second.